crumble. Some apples and plums. Apples I already picked and cooked when we had a harvest. Put them in the freezer, then got them out to defrost as you can see. Going to need some plain flour, caster sugar, cinnamon, some honey, and some butter. First thing we're going to do get your fruit washed and chopped up ready if it's not already chopped for you, and then into a pan. If you're using all fresh fruit, just put a bit of water in the bottom of the pan, stop anything burning. So in with your fruit and then a tablespoon of cinnamon, and some honey. Then you're going to gently simmer that down till all your fruit softens, in this case plums because I've already done the apples. Just put it on a low heat, give it a good stir obviously and let it just simmer for five minutes. With your fruit gently warming through Time to get your butter and sugar into a bowl. The thing about making a crumble is you want one part sugar, an equal part butter, and then you want twice the amount of flour. So in there I've got 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of sugar, so I'm going in 400 grams of your plain flour, then get the best device you've got in the kitchen and just squelch them together. Don't worry, it takes time it'll all come together and they'll resemble breadcrumbs. Once it resembles something like that, time to get your oven dish out. With your crumble made, time to get fruit off the cooker. <coughs> and it's time to go on with your crumble. Now you want to put this in the oven at 160 for around 30 to 40 minutes until it starts to nicely brown on top. Key to a crumble is long and slow rather than fast cooking. So slow at a low temperature until you see it going nicely brown on top. When you've done in the oven, it comes out looking something like that and it's time to warm some custard up get a cup of tea and get stuck in. <laughs>